ask you know, see if that one the one that we do. And there's some flaws in that one. And so we thought we could expose those things. And you know, we put the uh, sink, we put better better speed physical people on that on that group so we could probably run through some blocks if we had a chance. And that's what we had a Hey Mark, how much how much have you changed or tweaked the old West Coast offense to, to fit terrific? Well, I think you received quite a bit. And everybody's probably trying to figure out what we've done to make it work. It seems much more smoother as it does it for me. It's, it's, I think it's twofold. One, Terrell's in his second season on the offense. So it, it, it goes that he would, he would run an offense back. But two, we probably grouped our, grouped our calls a little bit better. So there's not so much memorization and more grouping. And this, that way he can identify with a way to look and I think it could get the ball out of time. Did, did you bowl the offense around him as opposed to trying to fit him into the offense? I, I think we fit him into the offense, but I think we had to change some things or tweak some things. So there's no real big change. It's just tweaking things to allow him to get the ball better out of time. And that, that's what we were missing most. Last year, he kind of hold the ball a little bit. And, uh, but he also, in, in respect to him, he didn't know where his looks for all the time. So he was confused just because he didn't understand the terminology. So learning our terminology is happening. What do you think when you watch him make big plays? Oh, he, he's, a, he's a dynamic player. I mean, he's, uh, he, he's always got a chance to make something happen for you. And the better he throws the ball, the more things can happen for him in the run game because you have to start defending every the width of the field. And we actually, he actually misfired on, on a couple of deep balls and good ahead. So you either have to come down and defend the run, or you have to stay back and defend the pass. And, you know, down the distance becomes a factor. So I thought Coach Sal and the offensive staff called a great game. We were consistent, and uh, you know, that's what we're looking for. I think we're more consistent on offense. You've had so many outstanding pocket passers, passers and receivers, and all the rest. Was it a gamble for you to take Terrell and think maybe we're going to have to change things a little bit? I don't think it was a gamble. I think it was, it was a pretty good gamble. <laughs> well, it wasn't a it wasn't a tough decision to make him. I mean, he's a talented young man. I felt he fit our university and as much as our team and as, as what we do. The only thing that makes it a little bit uh, what we have to make sure of is if, if Jared comes in the game that we run the same offense with the other ten guys is what Terrell would have done. One can look a little different. But you know, Jared's got some talent too to do some things, so and maybe instead of running for a touchdown, he might run for you know, 15 minutes. So we can still do the same thing, just so kind of don't quite look the same as run Of course, look like they posed some matchup problems for you, especially Crump up on that wide receiver, but you came up with a big turnover early. And let's talk about your linebacker play there where you were smitten because it was definitely the interception. Yeah, that interception early was big because it was exactly tip ball. And uh, so we got some pressure in the middle and got a hand up, and then, and then uh, Jordan, Jordan got, got the interception. We gave up, he missed too many tackles early. On those two big receivers, and, and they both were talented young men, big physical guys. So, you know, we got to go back and clean some more things up in the passing game, but uh, I, I feel confident with what we're doing defensively that, you know, we can still get better if we've got a chance to be through the defense. The other thing about your defense, you held them to 4 14 on third downs, and two of those came on the final drive. Can you just expand on that a little bit? Do you really stop them on third down? Well, I think, you know, the, the, the difference on this football team is I think they're. I think there, there's a lot of trust in those who you're playing with. And there's a lot of seniors in that front seven. And the secondary is doing a great job. You know, with what um, uh, JJ and Bill have done with their secondary. So, you know, there's a lot more trust of, of working together. And that's how you make third downs is you, all 11 have to have a purpose. And they better take care of the responsibility if you can stop somebody on the third and short or third and ten. What's, yeah. what's, that's just, what's the initial report on Carlos Anderson? I think Carlos. He, he told me, and he always tells me the good side of it. So, but uh, I think he it looked bad from the sideline because it's same like ankle and you know, a real bad twist. But I think it might have spooked him more than it actually hurt it. But we'll find out tomorrow. I mean, he was just I didn't anticipate him playing because it didn't look that good on Thursday. But he really he wanted to play so bad. And then when he got in there, he made some great runs and showed his speed. So I felt pretty good about it. And it was the same thing. Please, are you guys going for four in the red zone tonight? 
Pardon me? How pleased are you about going for the Red Sox? That's, that's very pleasing. It's, it's, I think our offense, the players and coaches, the whole package, I think they just have, you know, they're really working well together right now. That's a, that's a good solid group, and they run a lot of players, a lot of receivers, a lot of running backs. You know, I shouldn't say a lot of very good, but, you know, we've got both running backs. But two tight ends. I just think that we can keep people somewhat fresh right now, too, and that helps you when you get down to a drive and it comes down to a red zone because that's after about eight, eight or ten plays. David yeah, Johnson over 100 yards off the first time, and I just talked about the progress he's made off and just said week two, he's getting two to be in three. I think Dave is getting better his day, and I think I mean, he's, he's so smooth. I mean, he doesn't, he, he looks like he's just in the backyard. And when you're really watching, he's so smooth, it doesn't look like he's, he's not straining it, but he's just a smooth player, he's got good size, and he can make things happen. One more for Coach. Okay. Right. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.